Here I'm going to look at an organic chemistry question from Leaving Cert 2020. Describe a mechanism that involves ions for conversion 6. So you've got ethene. And you're adding chlorine to it. So I'm going to show curly arrows which indicate the movement of a pair of electrons. The alkene is electron rich there around the double bond. As that alkene approaches in this direction and it approaches the nonpolar halogen Cl2. There's no dipole in this molecule but as the electron density gets closer and closer to the Cl2 here it pushes the electron density in this bond away from that chlorine. So that becomes delta positive and that becomes delta negative. So it induces a dipole within the molecule. Then what happens is you get a movement of the pair of electrons shown by this curly arrow and it attacks one of the chlorine atoms, the delta positive chlorine atom. Now if this was a HCl that it was going towards, the dipole would already be formed. But because you've got electron density moving towards the chlorine, it just shifts the electron density in the chlorine-chlorine bond away from the first chlorine atom. Now, this actually all happens in one step. So that bond then breaks. Quite often in the Leaving Cert um, texts and things like that and mark schemes, that's shown as two steps. But in reality, actually, it happens in one. So the electron density moves. And as it moves, I'm just going to show you here the new intermediates that are formed. So what has happened is that carbon there, we can call it carbon number one, has formed a new bond with that chlorine. And in this instance, it doesn't matter which carbon actually forms the bond. Okay, This carbon is actually left with just a positive charge on it. Okay, Because its electron, which was initially in this bond, has been taken to form a new bond with this chlorine. And as this bond here breaks, the electrons that were in the bond have jumped onto the chlorine atom here to form a chloride ion. Okay, which is just a pair of electrons. So now that chloride ion actually has eight electrons on its outer shell. So what then happens is, this is a pretty instantaneous step, one of the lone pairs simply goes and attacks that carbon atom. Because that carbon atom is missing an electron, it's only got three, so it's got a positive charge. This chloride ion is negatively charged, and what happens is it pretty quickly snaps shut to form the product, which is here. Okay, now if it was bromine that was added, instead of chlorine, quite often what happens is you form the brominium ion because this one here is called a carbo cation. But usually when you have a bromine, one of the intermediates that's formed is this. So that immediately just snaps shut and you form this thing which is called a brominium ion. And it just means that carbon now doesn't have any charge on it. Okay, but the bromine has a charge in this instance. There. Okay. And what happens there is the second bromide ion simply comes in and attacks there and that leaves. Now either mechanism will work for bromine and even for chlorine if you want to talk about so this is called the brominium ion. So the chlorinium ion would also form. But in this instance that's the way to do it, okay? Now, in terms of if you wanted to just write this out and didn't want to draw it out, I prefer the way it's drawn out, to be honest, because it allows you to explain it a little bit easier. But you could just write it out. So 
Generally what they're looking for is that the chlorine undergoes heterolytic fission. Now I told you that doesn't really happen, okay? Really what happens is the chlorine gets polarized as it approaches the double bond, okay? Then the double bond attracts one side of the chlorine molecule, which is the delta positive chlorine. And as it attracts it, that double bond breaks. When it breaks, one of the carbon atoms there is left without a bond and it's called a carbocation. You could also call it a carbonium ion. Carbocation is the one that's usually used. Okay, a cation is just a positive ion. And then this negative ion, which is an anion, simply just attacks it. So addition of Cl minus to form the product. So you can either explain it in words or, or with the arrows. With the arrows, that's pretty much it, and you'll get the marks, okay? For that.